My second year, that was like the first time I, I had failed a class, and that's what led to studying abroad in Japan. I told my parents I don't think I want to go to college at all, or at least kind of want to at least start with community college or something like that. My parents sat down with me and they said, you just need to go and at least try it. By the time though I hit my third year, um, I, I think I didn't get anything under a B. And then that last quarter I was doing five classes. I was doing my research, I was doing the TEDx. And like so, and then I was directing for the play work. So that was technically almost seven classes. I passed them all really well, I guess, with A's and B's and everything. I only knew one person from my school and I wasn't really close to her. So it was almost, it was starting fresh in a way. But I got extremely lucky because my roommate was really nice. I became really good friends with her and it helped a lot that first year. My first quarter, my second year, kind of was very similar to my um, second year in high school, which was like a, a really down point, a really academically struggling point for me. So like my parents were constantly like telling me, go seek out like counseling, go seek out anything you can do. And then um, during one of those counseling sessions, I ended up disclosing to them, yeah, I'm autistic. So they're like, yeah, you can then go um, to register to the um, office and you can get all kinds of different accommodations. Basically, I'm like my schedule is like a Tetris where I'm figuring out how it's gonna all fit in. But I've just kind of forced the um, the fun stuff in. <laughs> like I'm part of an improv troupe, so that's actually a lot of fun. I, I do have, like when I have something like that, it is a little bit going into like I have a lot of homework, and I really probably should just do my homework instead. But then going to that, I find like actually I'm more relaxed and I get work done faster after. Mm -hmm. 